So after all this, what else could happen? I literally just got shit on. I was just standing there. So now I've been shit on more than once today in more than one way. All right, I'm just ready to get to the island and have a beer. That's all I want, a beer and a beach, and it's right there. We'll be there soon, I hope. I think, we'll see. And I've got like a couple hours to waste here, maybe an hour and a half. So I'm just gonna walk around a bit. There are some vendors up this road and already I see some sugar cane juice, which I would love, but I had too much coffee this morning. <laughs> they got some good sugar cane juice there, yum. Let's see what else we can find. Maybe we can find something to eat. Got little dishes of food here. Maybe I'll try one of these. Hello. Hello, how are you? Uh, can I get something like, something maybe like that, maybe? Yeah, how much is it? Uh, 5,000 beer. 5,000, all right. Okay. Okay. It's okay to eat here? Okay. Okay. Here. Over there? Okay. okay. Put my backpack here. Let's get some food. Get this set up. I'll pour the broth in the rice. <laughs> all right. And then put some hot stuff in it. Make it delicious. Okay, so I poured the broth in there. Now I'll add some chili, chili spice, squeeze a lime. It was very hot, so that makes me feel good. This looks like some kind of uh, blood sausage stuff, and maybe a little pork, some noodles, a few leaves, and yeah, it looks like a potato, definitely a potato. Oh my gosh, that's so good. It's really good. I wasn't sure what to expect. It's uh, spicy. It's tangy. It's delicious. Fine. Excellent broth. I'll try one of these pieces of what I suspect to be a blood sausage or something along those lines. Yeah, that's what it is. The noodles are amazing. The potatoes are good. It's like a little pork or chicken. Yeah, you see they have. I can't eat this while I'm filming because it has little bones in it. That I'll have to pick out but I think that's chicken. So we got some chicken and some blood sausage and some noodles. It's delicious. And it is a dollar and 25 cents. Right here down the road, the port, you go into that road right there to get to the port. So it's just outside of the port. And there's a row of places to eat here. Restaurant Alley, check it out. You think I'm kidding about how good it is or not. Check this out, that's how much I've eaten. I'm so good I don't wanna miss a drop. Well, I dug in the bottom, there was banana leaf, ginger, garlic, another herb that's familiar to me, but I can't put a name to it right now. It's got some peanuts mixed in, some peppers. I don't know if I've ever had such a good meal for a buck twenty-five. I just noticed they have a plate out for the gods here with some incense that was burning in it and some water to make the gods happy. All right, we've got about an hour before the boat leaves, so we're going to start walking in that direction. Hakun, thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Great friendly people here. The entrance to this pier doesn't look like much. It's just a small little road with these restaurants along it. And then you get to the end and there's a gate that you go through and then there's some waiting areas, kind of warehouse looking waiting areas where you wait for the ferry. Of course, plenty of pass apps to give you a ride if you're arriving on the ferry until you're in the right place when you see the tour buses. Do not disturb, it is nap time. Not much down here by the dock. There's a public toilet there, it costs a thousand. That's a quarter, USD. And then here's the gatehouse. Hopefully they're not gonna charge us to go in. Some coffee, black coffee with coconut. Oh my gosh, I never had that, that sounds good. But I've already had two coffees today. Next time, we have lots of juice there too. And then here's the gate. Charge five bucks for cars. Hopefully they don't charge to walk. We'll see. I couldn't. So this is it, this is the dock. The boats are over there, ours isn't here yet. We'll walk over there in just a second. And if you book CTVC Speedboat, you get a nice air conditioned waiting room. But we did not book CTVC Speedboat. We did not. I will show you our waiting room. Holy cow, there's a nice yacht out there. I think it's a yacht, surely that's not a ferry. I'll show you in just a second. That's the CTVC speedboat. I have no idea what ours looks like. We'll see soon enough. They're getting ready to go right now. 
these people are bringing luggage. But what I want to show you is this yacht over here. And I think I may have seen this very boat in Phnom Penh on the river before. I certainly saw one that looked like it. It's a big yacht. We'll see which one of these we get on. And there's a tugboat there. And people loading up, ready to go. CTBC is all class. That's this uh, song saw, Prophet Island. Maybe they go to a different place. The water looks pretty nice here. And it's going to just be nicer when we get out to the island. Yeah, I think this is the closest I've ever been to a tugboat. Those things are pretty big. This is a dock area. I'm not even sure if we're supposed to be here. But we're going to just go, since we have a little time, go see what we can see. I see some more boats ahead of us. As long as we don't get stopped, we're all good. It's another nice boat. Take a walk down this trail, see how far we can get. I see a little house there. I'm guessing it's probably a guard house. We probably can't get past it. But we'll never know if we don't try. Hey, pup. Hello, pup, pup. He doesn't speak English, I don't think. He might be running for his life. Soup dog. That's where we came from over there. I'm still excited to show you the waiting room. We are traveling on Booba. Hello, how are you? Is it okay if I walk here just to just to walk and take pictures? Is it okay? No, I speak English. No English? Okay. Yes. Drink? Oh, no, 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 no. Gracias. No. Okay. Thank you. Akun. Akun. Well, maybe I shouldn't have passed up on that beer. Look how clear this water is. A little trash in it, but it's completely clear. We'll have a beer soon. He didn't speak English, but he was quick to offer me a beer. Isn't that great? I love the Cambodian people. He wasn't selling them either. He was just drinking them. <laughs> Probably fresh off work, he had a shirt from the uh, speedboat people. All right, now we're close to this speedboat. I'm going to pass through this gate and get you a zoom in of the speedboat. Then we'll go over there to the waiting area, and I'll show you the waiting area. Oh, that water looks so good. So let's head back over to the waiting area. There was a bus now in front of our waiting area. Maybe it will be full. Without the sun hitting directly in the camera, it's a whole lot easier to see the beauty of the water here. Cambodia has been doing a good job of banning plastics, but I don't think you can go anywhere without seeing them still. When I say banning plastics, I mean like the, uh, the, the plastic sacks. Here is the nice gentleman, our nice gentleman that offered me a beer that might be our captain. A coon. <laughs> captain takes a beer break. All right, I showed you the waiting room of the speedboat. Now I'm going to show you our wonderful waiting room. This is class all the way. So our warehouse space. This is this is what we get. Okay, so this is the boat we're on. We got a double decker on the top. I thought I was recording on the way up, but I was not. <laughs> For the video. <laughs> I'll sit back here at the back so maybe we can get a view both directions. guys here we are they put me on the wrong boat so now I'm on the big island and I don't know how I'm gonna get to the small island Sarah Sea Resort booked the boat I didn't even book it so we'll see what happens now I need to go to that island yeah they told me to go over here and get a ticket for 420 I don't now is I think I don't have the boat go there because that's very they can't do straight to Mapai uh, Falang Salam and Mapai Bay and from to here. All right, so we'll see. This guy's telling me he'll get me there for $50. I'm supposed to be having a beer already, but that's some of the fun about travel, huh? Some of the best times are the misadventures, but these guys weren't willing to admit anything. My ticket is stamped for which resort I go to. They take them and they look at them before you get on the boat. And he looked at mine, 
he tore it. He told me to get on the boat. And then now they just blame, blame, blame. That's okay. All I want is to get to the right place because I've already paid. <laughs> All right. So they, they want a photo to see what I look like so they can have somebody meet me, which is great because you guys know I'm easy to spot. It's beautiful here, huh, guys? It really is beautiful. I'm a little frustrated right now. <laughs> Damn, it's nice. It'll be awesome. It will be awesome. It is awesome. Okay. 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 Thank okay. you so thank much. You. Okay. I'm good. Hello. Hello. How are you? Go to Sarani, sir? Yes, that's I'm me. Good. I'm good. Yeah. Just wait here. The boat is on the way here. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Call you. <laughs> I appreciate you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So now we got some help. Yeah. <laughs> the guys on the warehouse waiting room boat, they weren't helpful at all. They didn't give a shit. Give me my money and I'm out of here. <laughs> the resort seems to care. And the people here are friendly as can be. You can see that. They're willing to help. They'll get me there for 50 bucks. Any of them will. Let's walk out here while we wait. Maybe we get to take one of these double engine bad boys. You think? It would be super cool if this was our boat. I think it's going to the, yeah, it's going to the other dock. So that is not our boat. They said our boat leaves at 4.20. Let's see what time it is. It's 4.08. Ready to get my toes in the sand, amigos. Yes, I am. Eat some sea turtle eggs and some bald eagle. Both are illegal and I would never do it. The ski boat is leaving. Hopefully that's not my ride. I've got no more news except that they said a boat, my boat would be here at 420. It's after 420 and no boat. Then we talked to Beach Dogs. Hello, Beach Dog. You want to be famous on YouTube? You don't want to talk to me. So after all this, what else could happen? I literally just got shit on. I was just standing there. So now I've been shit on more than once today in more than one way. All right, I'm just ready to get to the island and have a beer. That's all I want, a beer and a beach, and it's right there. We'll be there soon. Honestly, how terrible would it be to have to stay right here? That would completely suck, wouldn't it? She said the boat's on the way. It'll stop at a different island, and then it comes here next. So we will be on our way soon. And we won't have to stay in this terrible place. Thank God. I was worried. Our boat has arrived. Cold beer and off we go, guys. It's going to get better from here. She has been super helpful. <laughs> for you too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we got a beer for the road. Doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, they were saying it's a smaller boat. This one's a little smaller, but it's not a small boat. We got a cold beer, right? And we're off. Look at all the splash on this window. I think this boat gets a little wet. I still wish they let me drive. Before we get going, let's see if we're lucky. Let's get this Cambodia open. Let's see if we win a free one. Let's see. Do we win? No, we don't win. No free one that time, but I still got two free ones in my pocket. Cheers, guys. This is our first stop. Still not where we're going, but very beautiful. It's an amazing island. Korong Hill Beach Resort. That's where we are now. You always live here? Live here, but today I visit home. Which one's home? That one's home? Hmm? Which one is home? Uh, in Phnom Penh. Oh, Phnom Penh. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. I sleep one night in sit, uh, inside a well. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. Yay, the right one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome. Enjoy your day. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your time in Phnom Penh. Yeah. Two hours Hi, late, yeah. but better than never, right? Yeah. We are here, guys. Now we just have to find our room. It's going to be over that way somewhere. You probably can't see. It's <laughs> straight towards the sun.
There are no cars here, guys. You just walk everywhere. There are trails through the woods and cabins, cabanas, all over the place. There's some right here. I don't know what this one's called. There. There's some cabanas there. Very nice. Got an upstairs deck and a hammock on the lower stairs. That would be really nice because maybe the upstairs deck will be high enough to keep the mosquitoes at bay. Oh, you have to walk through the water to get your room. It's terrible. It's terrible, I'm telling you. So terrible. So far, I'm not seeing very many people. But that's okay. It'll be okay if I go for three or four days without seeing too many people. As long as they have plenty of beer. Well, there are people finally at the Sky Beacon Resort. Sky Mart. That looks like the local beer store. These structures look like the pictures I saw of Sarah C. That might be where we're at. Appears they have diving here, and that was not the Sarah C. We're still going. Okay, this one's called the One Resort. My sister has stayed here before. She said it's decent. The price was pretty high right now. I looked at it, and she said the price they wanted now wasn't worth it. So I guess it depends on the season when you want to come. This is the Moonlight Resort. They've got these concrete dome looking cabanas. I'll look more at the different resorts during the few days we stay here. And I'll show you more about that later. The beer cooler is not looking good. And he just told me there will be no beer here until at least tomorrow. Number eight. All right, let's see what we got here. Thank you. Thank you. This is the Sarah Sea Resort in Coron Salomon. Let's see, let's do a room tour here. Let's do the room tour. I haven't been in yet, so we'll discover it together. Okay, king size bed. We brought my bag. It's got air con. Air con's blowing cold. A little bit of water, a couple bottles of water. Let's see if we can get some lights on in here. I don't know what this room is, maybe well, just a storage room, maybe a changing room. Well, there's no, there's two hangers on the wall, there's no place to hang anything in here. And then here, that's the bathroom. It's a toilet, it's the Asian wet bath. This is the water heater, so there's hot water. Take a shower, it just drains down there. And we've got a little bit of a skylight here. And that's it, there's not a whole lot to see here. Volkswagen painting. We're right here on the ocean. There's the main building up there, but they don't have anything. There's the dog patrol, paw patrol as it's called, I guess, huh? The water's nice and clear. The sand is pretty nice. It's white. Whitish. They came through with the beer. Three Cambodias and a whole bunch of ice. All right. We're going to have this beer Cambodian style. Don't really have a choice. Well, I do have a choice, but it's very warm. Cambodians drink it over ice. So I don't have a problem with that. I will drink it over ice. Let's see if we're lucky. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I finally found a place to cash these things in in Campot. Most places won't take them. But I cashed a couple of them in last night, and I've got a couple more to cash in. Look at there. Finally, we have had a rough day got pooped on by a bird put on the wrong boat but we are here on the beach and just want a free beer it's gonna be a watered down ice cold beer soon and life is good my friends a little bit of perseverance is rewarded because I'll tell you when I was on the wrong boat I was this close to canceling the stay here and staying on the big island if they hadn't have found the ride here uh, tonight I would have but anyway so that's the room tour it didn't take much. There's not a lot to see here. More to come. I'll show you the island in future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.